Welcome to day five of my 12 days of Christmas and today's show is, you guess it from the title, Once Upon a Time uh, and it's going to be a baking video so we'll see how this goes. Last time I tried to do a baking video it was pretty successful in the end and I made some cinnamon rolls apart from when I knocked the camera off the stand and lost like half an hour of footage but apart from that it went really well so why not try it again I thought. Um, I'm probably going to find out why not try it again. Um, although this should be fairly, fairly simple because we're just basically going to be baking some cupcakes. Um, well, probably more fairy cakes than cupcakes, but it's literally just going to be from one of those mixed packet things you can buy. Because uh, I'm not very talented, you see. Uh, but baking cakes is Christmassy, right? I guess. Uh, and you're probably thinking, what's this got to do with once upon a time? Well, my friends, the toppers for the cupcake things. You see, the toppers. I designed these earlier with the power of editing photos on Microsoft Word. Uh, and they actually turned out a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be, but never mind, it's fine. Because um, this packet mix makes 10 cakes, so I had to narrow it down to 10 characters to use in each of the cupcakes. So if your favourite's not on here, sorry. Um, but yeah, I kind of just designed these earlier. So we have Emma, Henry, Regina, Mary Margaret, David, Mr. Gold, Neil, Hook, Peter Pan, and Belle at the end there. Last but not least, so um, I was originally going to like try and like order something online to like get these done in the edible icing that you can put on top, so I can actually eat them. Um, then I remembered I don't have any money, um, so I just put them off instead. And you know I'm going to put the icing on the cakes, make them look nice, and then pretend that they're edible and stick those on top. So it's once upon a time themed, technically. You know, I was really stuck for ideas on what to do for this show, so we're doing it anyway. Let's go. So we've already preheated the oven to 160 degrees, so nailing it so far. Uh, then we just need to whisk the sponge mix, which is this, with uh, 6 grams of butter or a heaped teaspoon, um, and an egg until thick and smooth. Add water and whisk for one minute until the mixture looks runny. Lovely. So we need three tablespoons of water on top of the initial mix. Fine, let's do that, or let's try and do that. I do have this like terrible feeling in my gut that I left out like a really big character on those cake topper things. But I was like, I have to include Peter Pan, he's like the best bit of it. Zelina nearly made the cup, and I was like, you know what, Belle's been around for longer. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who's on there because I can't eat them because they're bloody paper. Well, I successfully got that in there. I emptied the packet. Yay, cooking. Baking, damn it. So heaps teaspoon of butter. I'm guessing that will do. And an egg. Nailed it. I will admit I felt a lot more prepared when I did the cinnamon roll, so this could be a disaster. If anyone's gonna mess up cooking cake mix, it's me. Baking cake mix. Right, so now we just need to whisk this first batch of the mix. I'm doing it the old fashioned way, pray for me. Okay, there's like next to nothing in there, but I'm pretty, well, so I'm pretty sure it's for kids. I'm pretty sure this is a kids mix. Oh, do you think? It's the only one they had, so I had to get it, all right? I'd say that's about right, if you can see. Lighting's not brilliant, but what can you do? I'm far from being a professional. So now we add three tablespoons of water to that. Can do. And now we mix until the mixture is runny. It's a little like kids set and I've still managed to like spill it all over the place. To be fair, it looks like cake mix. That's honestly better than I was expecting. Okay, so mixture is done. Now I just need to divide the cake mixture into each cupcake case and bake for 12 to 15 minutes until golden brown. Nice. Yeah, look how tiny these are, look. These are going to be gone very, very quickly, I'm telling you now. You have to do it on a tray like this. Don't have a normal, like, cupcake tray, so I'm making do. It's going to be fine.
Okay, those are done. I can't really show you on a particularly good angle. Um, but yeah, a bit messy, but not too bad. Uh, so now we're going to uh, bake them and hopefully I don't burn them. And hopefully I don't burn the house down. Hopefully no one gets injured or dies, you know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes uh, baking time in the oven. Uh, took them out, left them to cool, and they actually look like cupcakes. So I'm genuinely pleased with myself. Um, and while that was happening, I mixed the icing sugar that came with the kit with some water to make the icing. Boom. Uh, so now we just need to put that on top, and then we're basically done. Okay, so they've been iced fairly well, I guess, um, for someone who's, well, with no skill. Uh, and also I've now cut out these, um, definitely not um, just paper, definitely not. Uh, so yeah, we're going to stick all these on now, I guess. Okay, there we have it. I'll show you a better angle. So there are my Once Upon a Time cupcakes. We have David, we have Emma, Regina, Mary Margaret, Neil, Hook, Belle, Peter Pan, Mr. Gold, and Henry the Cinnamon Roll, my son. Uh, it was next to impossible to find a picture of Mr. Gold smiling, so I just gave up. Uh, did pretty well with everyone else though. Uh, so yeah, those are my Once Upon a Time Christmas cupcakes. And I will see you tomorrow for another day in the countdown. Pretty good, you know.